Hey, Room Rollers, it is JPT back with uh, another episode of Room World, of course. And uh, let's just get right into it. One of the things I definitely want to change is I want to change the priority for plant cutting for Coley so that research becomes a higher priority when we get down to it. So growing, basically in between growing and researching, is the way we're going to send her on her path this particular episode. Josh doing the good business of getting these floors down so that our things can keep cranking out power. Of course, we've got stored power here. We've got two coolers going on. we got our cooler way over here. Keeping things at 77 degrees, but then, you know what? That's not helping keep things uh, cooled over here. I've, I've realized that. I need to crank this thing down. So let's crank it down a few degrees. Keep it at 30 degrees. Keep things fresh. Yeah, I, I realized that off camera. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll see the temperature go down. Oh, sweet. Thomas has developed an infection in his right leg. Sure that you have a medical bed and a doctor. Make sure that Thomas gets proper treatment and spends as much time in bed as possible. All right. So somebody, somebody needs to be a doctor. And doctoring yourself isn't going to really work in this case. So two out of 20. <laughs> Which one gets to be the doctor? Who has? So two and two. So it's pretty much an even stab at this. I'll let Josh build some concrete. There we go. Come over here and treat Thomas. Maybe give him some food as well. Although I don't think we have any. Fizz, are you are you taunting the dead? There we go. Are you doing better? Oh. You got a cobra bite. That sucks. Oh, and Thomas is doing better. Yeah, get back in bed. Get rid of that infection. We need you to fight another day. Really need somebody to get up and research, but that doesn't seem to be happening. What are you doing? Oh, you're sewing. And now you're researching. So there you go. That's how the uh, research bench works. You can kind of see that. You can kind of see it ticking away, too. So it's more than 1,800 seconds. I'd say it's about three seconds. So... You know, you can do the mathematics to see how long that's going to take. And that's not it. That's in double speed mode. So that's kind of kind of scary. Um, it looks like the way we put this steel bench down, you were going to cut off one of these. So let's go ahead and remove those plans. Oh, somebody's in a poor mood. Freak me out for a second. Thomas, what are your needs, Thomas? Oh, wow. Disturbed sleep, shared bedroom, in a little pain, sick, joy deprived, feeling bad, ugly environment, crowded, and urgently hungry. Well, let's get you some food. Coley, get away from researching and feed Thomas. A little something something. Because you're going to get fed raw rice. That's probably not going to taste very good. But at least you won't be hungry. Uh, you're still hungry. Because you ate raw rice. I understand. Who is... Uh, like, are we just depending on Thomas for everything at this point? Even cooking? Yeah. Like, just everything. <laughs> All the good deeds. So here we go. Keeping these things going. I guess since I'm standing in front of it... It affects it as well. I never even thought about that until now. It is what it is, I suppose. Yep, we have low food. This is dangerously low. Severe illness. Oh, good. Ah, malnutrition. That's great. Extreme untreated. Oh. Every colonist, the female gender smiles with contentment. <laughs> nice. Some distant engine is happiness is stirring. It is 
projecting a powerful psychic drone over this entire region on a frequency that only seems to affect the female gender. For a few days, some people's mood will be quite a bit better. Well, not the ones I want to. So he's going to build that uh, orbital trade beacon. He's just going to keep going back and forth, it seems like. The long way. Although, go ahead and treat Thomas a little bit. Let's try to keep you going. Harvesting rice plants. Oh, thank goodness. Get that rice. There we go. Oh, don't eat it. Oh, you jerk. Now, what is your... Okay, your food's not terrible. There we go. Okay, so what are you doing now, Josh? You're consuming rice. No, 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 no. Feed it, Thomas. You can starve a little bit. Man, we're suffering a little bit, aren't we? Corn's got to be close. There we go. Got you some food. Huh. Is incapacitated. Yikes. Well, that's scary. How's your illness doing? Pain is extreme. Oh, man. Getting some good rest, though. Can we... Nope. Oh, still can't heal you. Thomas has died because of infection. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh, gosh, gosh. You're trigger happy. So, your gun is not going to get picked up. No, consuming the simple meal. Good. Why don't you go ahead and equip that rifle. And let's go ahead and build a grave, I guess. See where this goes. Ay, 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 ay. Thomas, you were a good one. You were a good one. And before you rest... Strip them and haul them. No, 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 don't put them there. Yes, Barry Thomas. Ugh. This sucks. This sucks. Yes, I understand. Poor mood, Josh. Starving. I understand. But, I got you a t-shirt. <laughs> oh, boy. Josh has broken down and is wandering around in a daze. Oh, boy. This is not working out at all. Growth rate is 100%. 56. It's all ready to harvest, so why aren't we... Why are we harvesting this stuff? Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're never getting Josh back. Wait, did he strip down naked? Now he took the shirt off. He's like, oh, I don't want this shirt. He's a psychopath, so that's good. Oh boy. This could get interesting. Night couldn't come any sooner, Coley. Are you... What are you doing? Harvesting rice plants. Good, good, good. All of them, please. Look at that. We were that far away. It's our biggest problem, and I don't see why power is being such a big pain in the butt. So Josh is just crazy now. He's lost it. Broken thoughts. It's all just too much. Can we not tell them to feed Josh? Well, that sucks. I think Josh is going to die. Oh, don't die, Josh. He 
He's just wondering. Huh. Josh is no longer dazed. Yes. Yes, cook the rice, then eat it. There you go. There you go. Now you're feeling better. Oh, that was real scary there for a minute. You are still naked, though. I fully understand that. Harvesting more rice. All the rice. There you go. Are we not set to make food at this cook stove? You can allow vegetarians, so I don't know why they're just not cooking. Prioritize cooking cook stove. If we had power. Huh. This research couldn't come fast enough. It kind of shows you a little bit down there too, which is not hopeful at all. So I th think, oh good, we got our orbital trade beacon. Need the comms console to work properly. So he's gonna mine that steel. Maybe I'm just not connecting things properly. Seems like I should be. Deconstruct that. Deconstruct that. I mean, I'm running some pretty long conduit, but it should be okay. But the way this stuff is going, though, I just don't quite understand. And actually, you know what? In order to maximize this space, we could do this. Could we not? Can we not just share? Oh, that's the way to do it right there. Let's try that. Never thought about doing that until just now. I feel super smart. No, 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 no. What does this require? Steel. Um, let's go ahead and cancel that. We really need to work on that comms console more than anything else at this point. Okay, so we need 50 more. Oh good, he put one down. How much are you carrying? So we have enough. You are not resting until we build this thing. Pretty sure my wife is playing the piano downstairs. I keep thinking it's the music in the game, but it's not. Does that power now? Good. Let's cancel that. Call the combat supplier. Okay. Woo. Hmm. So we could buy medicine. What's this do? Like buy all of it or buy one? It's interesting. Huh. Cool. Ah, oh, so this is what we could trade them for monies. 20 cents, yikes. Let's go ahead and accept that. And we've got this much silver. So, faction-wise, small town at the plain, we could buy. We could buy them for seven goodwill. Right now it's at negative seven, so we can get it at zero if we wanted to spend 300 silver, which I think I'm going to, just for fun. Now they're at negative one, which is strange because negative seven plus seven is zero. But I guess it rounds down. But now they're six. So they like us. They really, really like us. So there we go, Outlander Town. We could do the same thing with them, but it would take us a little bit. 
but now we have at 201. Sylvester Interstellar has left comms range. This is uh, the name of the guy that's developed the game, actually, which is pretty cool. Not his name isn't Sylvester Interstellar, but you get my drift. So really not in a good place at the moment. Thomas died, and it's just man and woman. Oh, let's see, 23 and 46. Yeah, it's that double down age thing. So there's some, probably not a whole lot going on here. Let's go ahead and haul that corn off. I don't care if you haven't been sleeping very well. Is this frozen? It's refrigerated, so that's good. Group of small town at the plane are visiting the colony. Good deal. They're bringing us food. I mean, we can always be hunting animals and stuff too. I realize that. I mean, it's when you get into situations like this, you kind of just forget what you're doing, which kind of kind of sucks actually. Repulsive barrack, disturbed sleep, shared bedroom, in a little pain, ugly environment. I think I just need to set one of them to actually clean. Let's just get a bunch of clean freaks on board. Mining compacted steel. Doing all sorts of stuff. There we go. How about you haul off that corn? Oh, I didn't realize I was still playing with Josh. So now they are cleaning. Good, good, good. So I think that's a stopping point. Hopefully you've been entertained by this episode. I'm hoping to maybe get somebody else to come to the colony to help us out. But things aren't looking too good for us here at Midas. But I sure do suppose we'll see what happens in the next episode. Do appreciate you guys watching as always. And until next time, this is JPT. Go play your games. And I'll be seeing you.